Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to show you how I use hair extensions. So most of the time I use just two very small two clip extensions that I attach on both sides of my face because my hair is very thin here. So I add those extensions to give me a bit of thickness and length. But now and again, I fancy long hair. I don't think long hair really suits me. You, a lot of you disagree with me, but now I love long hair. So now and again, if I want long hair, I will use longer extensions. And I prefer those over a long wig because with a wig, I cannot control how thick my hair is. Whereas with extensions, I can add more or less, depends how thick I want my hair to look. So for a very long time now, I've been using the Beauty Works extensions. They come in this lovely box and I buy the Deluxe set. So let me show you the Deluxe set. Really, the Deluxe set is, I would say, for people that already have long hair and just want to add thickness because you only get three wefts. So you get two four clip weft so that's one two and one three weft clip three weft weft <laughs> so this is not enough to give you the long hair look if you've got hair my length or shorter because well I will show you why there is not enough to cover and blend in with your own hair. If you want to have a full set, you have to get the double set, which has many more wefts. But I don't need that many because as you know, what I do, so if I have big weft like this, I will cut it to just two weft clips like this. I clip it in where I want it and I cut it to the length of my hair because the shortest extensions they do is I think 16 inches which these are so that's pretty long I think they do 16 18 20 and 22 inches so I get the shortest and I only need the del deluxe uh, these are quite new actually, different color because I've been always using the Scandinavian blonde. So here is the Scandinavian blonde. Um, it matches my hair pretty well and I love the fact that it has sort of shadow roots because as you can see, I've got roots when my hair starts growing out. If I put this weft quite high up, Even if the dark picks through, you can't tell that it's extension, it just looks like my roots. Whereas when the web doesn't have any, this one has slight shadow root, can you see, but it's much lighter. Um, sometimes you can tell if it picks through your hair um, that the clip starts there. I hope I'm making myself clear. So let me quickly show you I just look where I want my hair. I section that. I'm not going to do it properly. I just want to show you quickly. I put it there and can you see my hair? Can you see how see-through my hair is this side? It's much thicker and I can make it a bit longer at the front as well. So that's how I mostly use my extensions but let me show you how I would use these extensions this particular weft with if I wanted long hair but for that you need more than just this I basically need two more two clips of extra set and I've cut these as well to two clips uh, let me just quickly tell you about the color so the Scandinavian blonde is beautiful it has slight low lights in it which I have myself but I'm growing them out that's why I bought the Molly Mays they don't have as 
many they have like different shades of blonde so it's not just really flat but they don't have the darker uh, low lights one thing to remember with the scandinavian blonde when it first comes to you it looks pretty ashy i don't know if this shows as much um, in a camera sometimes the blonde even has slightly bluey purpley hue but i've noticed like i've never washed these when i've washed them it's almost like they've been toned with blue shampoo because when i've washed them can you see these are these have been washed and they are not as ashy it's very difficult to pick it out on a camera but still it's a beautiful blonde whereas the molly may overall looks much blonder because it doesn't have any darks really going through it but if you like these colors either one will work okay so let me show you how i clip them in i might have to put my microphone here because i will be turning around so you won't be able to hear me so the first thing i'm going to do is take the shorter weft the three clip weft because this one will go low here and your hairline is much shorter here than here so i will section my hair sort of at the lower part of my ear and you need to do it quite cleanly so mine might not look very clean because i can't see what i'm doing if i was doing it upstairs i've got mir mirror behind me so i can do it so you do it like this then you need to slightly back comb at your root so the clips have something to hold on to um, because if your hair is thin like mine and sleek they won't stay and what you can also do is spray a bit with a hairspray that back combing then you snap open the clips i've got the wrong weft <laughs> snap open the clips find the middle of your head and put the middle one in first and snap it close stretch it all the way to this side and then all the way to this side and here is my first weft then I'm going to section right above it a bit higher so about just here above my ear I'm sure my sections are not very clean and straight but you get the idea I do the same thing this is this is so much easier to do when you've got a mirror behind you because I have no idea what I'm doing there <laughs> now I will take the four clip weft with this one I might actually clip first here so they are even on the sides and then clip these ones if you feel a bit of bagginess then unclip it and stretch it again and clip it so this is my second weft and then the third one 
will go a bit higher. Not too high, almost on the top of the last one. And now I'm going to put the last weft from that set. I'm using the Molly May. And now you can see why that is not enough to blend your own hair because can you see you can see all this of my own hair so you still need something here that's why i've got these two two clip wefts that i've cut myself and it's different color but that's fine because you can see my roots more at the front and i'm going to put them higher up here at the front i've already must have curled them before so that's why they have a bit of curl in them. But I will put it somewhere here. Right, can you see so I've got more of a long hair here, but can you see this bit? It, it's just too big of a step. So, I've got so little hair here that it's really difficult to clip this in. and my extensions are in now but to blend them in better I'm going to give it some wave so I have some wave in my hair as well because once you curl them together that will disguise this shorter hair so you can do it with a curling iron or with a straightening iron whatever you prefer to use I hope you can see now that the Scandinavian blonde, remember I told you it has like a bluish, greyish almost tone. So let me compare it here to the Molly May. I hope you can see it. Can you see how this is a bit more grey? Uh, but like I said, once you've washed them, that goes away. Now what I should have done really is curled each weft that I put on. That was silly on me, so I'm going to try to do that. It's much easier to curl weft by weft than doing them all together. I've got here a T3 curling iron, and now I don't want this to be too curly. I just want more of a loose wave like this. Um, and I'm not going to curl it right from the top either. I don't want to, you know, I just don't want it to be too curly. I just want to do enough to blend that hair with my own. Just like this. So I'm going to go, you can see my short hair, you can actually give this a little bend as well. So I'm going to speed up through it. I'm a, I am first going to just curl each weft and then when I get to the top I will come back. Yes, I've made my job much more difficult. I normally curl each weft but forgot. Yeah. 
so I've let down now the last weft and my own hair so now what I want to do with the top weft I want to start curling it from about here where my own hair finishes so I just want to curl the very end of my hair I don't want it coming out from here I don't want to be too much like a curly so I want my hair to be a bit straighter here and then curly at the end yes sorry my dogs come to see what I'm doing so I'm going to pick up a random bit with my own hair and I will start curling here this might be actually easier with a straightening iron but because I can't see what I'm doing it's easy for me with that so you see the end of my hair has a bend in it so that will help it sort of blend in with the rest of of the extensions see so this is my own hair and this very front piece I'm just gonna give it a little bend like this Okay, let me take this off now. Okay, so that's what you should be left with. This will drop a bit as well, so it will be even less curly, which that's what I'm after. But as you can see, because I've given a slight bend into my own short hair, it sort of melts with the extensions and um, I know there are places like here that probably should do more but like I said I've got no mirror here behind me to see what I'm doing but let me show you the back it's probably not as good as the front but that's that's what it should look like I've given myself today a middle parting but it's not working because I have a cow's leg here so my hair naturally wants to be like this so maybe we just do it like this if you see your own hair here popping out then you can just curl that as well or good thing is to pin that hair right up underneath so you can't really see it but with long hair like this you wouldn't really see it so that's how I use my hair extensions like I said if you want this sort of look you probably can't get away with just the deluxe set I would buy the double set because then you have enough for the full head and then you might just use a couple here and, and there I have lots of different extensions cut, curl, straight that I use for my different hairstyles but um, yeah I think this looks really nice again <laughs> I don't think it's my look but I will be now enjoying this all day because I love the look of long hair so much I can't stop playing with it but yes it's not something I do very often but I thought I'd show you just in case you fancy to do something like it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.